Well, today we're going to take a look at the brand new steel HTA 86 battery powered pole saw. It is the replacement for the HTA 85. You may or may not be familiar with this. We've had this for several years on the market. I've had this in our rental fleet here at Carl's um, probably three years now, something like that. And every time somebody comes in to rent a pole saw and I say, here you go. They're like, no, I don't want one of these battery things. That's not, that's not gonna do the job. And every time I'm kind of like, you sure? And they'll take it out and they'll bring it back and they'll be like, whoa, that thing is amazing. I send them with two batteries and they usually come back and they haven't even finished the first battery. So the amount of cuts you can do with one of these is unbelievable. The reason I like to send the battery out as a rental is just because it's a little bit more idiot proof. I don't have to worry about sending them with mixed fuel. I don't have to worry about teaching them how to start the engine or them flooding it out. And they also appreciate the, the reduction in weight, the quietness, the fact they're not having to pull the rope over and over again. They can just do some work, set it down, clean up their mess and move on. So the HT85, it's an extendable pole saw powered by the AP series of batteries. So right here, I've got the uh, AP 200 battery. This will just plug right into the rear of the HTA 85 like so, and we'd be good to go. Again, lightweight, balanced out very nicely. So today we're gonna take a look at the HTA 86. I haven't even opened the box yet. It's brand new. Uh, I don't expect to see a lot of game-changing things, but, but let's go ahead and let's check it out. It uh, has a 42-minute run time with the AP200 battery. Remember in the AP series, there's four battery options, the 100, the 200, the 300, and the 300S. And with the 300S, they say 68 minutes. The 300, they say 55, the 200, they say 42, and then they say 18 minutes with the AP 100. Here's the thing, 42 minutes with the AP 200, that's continuous work. Um, and I found you're usually doing way more than 42 minutes. You're more like doing two hours. You're making a cut, you're making a cut, you're making a cut, and then you set the saw down and you clean up your mess. So. The amount of work you can do with these is, is very awesome. And they usually recommend the AL300 charger. That's gonna give you time if you have two batteries to really just kind of keep that cycle going. So let's go ahead, without further ado, let's open up this 13 pound steel HTA86 battery pole saw. We're gonna pop it open here, pop it open here. Hopefully you can see me in the screen. And let's see what we got. We have our owner's manual. Yep, that's good. We have our tools. So we've got a shoulder strap and a bar wrench in here. We're gonna need a bar wrench. We have our chain. We have our bar. This is gonna be interesting. On the outside of the package, they showed a unique bar. Let's open this bar a minute and see if it is the bar that they show on the package. I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not. Maybe though. Nope. Okay. It is a quarter pitch. We got a 10 inch bar and chain on this. We'll see if we have the option in the future of going up to a 12 inch. Here is the unit. Hold on here. Let's get this cardboard packaging off of this thing. There we go. So for assembly, we're gonna have to place this in here, slide this up in like so, like so, maybe. And we'll end up tightening that up and that'll be good. Looking at this end, it looks very similar to the HTA 85 that we had before. So I don't see a change there, but I do see a change right here in the clamping mechanism. And that, that was something that could have been improved on on the 85. So I'm on this one, I flip open and slide it out. This one, I'm just gonna screw this 
And uh, a lot of actually the gasoline powered have gone to this style too, where it's a screw clamp. So now it's tight, it's locked in place, loosen, slide it out, tighten it at the next step right there. They've gone to a square shaft. I think this one was round. No, it's kind of more of an oval, oval shape. This guy is straight up square. So that's interesting. So that adds some rigidity, maybe allows them to do some weight reduction. I do like this lock mechanism better. Let's get a look at the uh, battery holder side. Flip this around here just a minute. We'll compare this to the 85. Let me grab it. A little cleaner looking. Okay, you gotta look at that. So it's a little smaller maybe. Uh, they do not have the loop handle on the bottom. Whether that's important or not, I'm guessing this is gonna lead to some weight reduction. I like the shoulder strap holder better. They've got the uh, new interlock style on this, which basically in order to use this, what I need to do is push forward on this orange and then hold down on the interlock on the top. As long as your hand stays on the top, I don't need to touch this again. Okay, so we've got that change. Throttle actually feels a little nicer. We're gonna pop a battery in here. We're not gonna fire this one up, but we'll just see what it, how that battery fits in there. Simple, just like the HD85. And I see we have the option for the uh, engine stand on the bottom. We can put that on just to kind of keep it out, off the ground, out of the dirt. So again, here it is, the steel HD86. I have not fully assembled it. I really should do that, shouldn't I? I don't have the tools with me. But very similar to the HD85, I see uh, just a little more sleeker design on the, the battery holder. I was gonna say the motor, but the motor's down at the other end. So the battery holder, sleeker design, changed out the throttle control to, uh, to really more follow what they have on the whole steel AP series of commercial products now. Better clamp mechanism for your shoulder strap. A squared off um, tube. It's going to be a little more rigid, also going to be just a little easier to hold. And then a better locking mechanism here for the adjustment of. And you can see this gets out there a ways. I can get up and I can do some serious work with this steel HTA 86. So check out the full line of steel battery powered tools at your local steel dealer, Carl's Mower and Saw. We're ready to hook you up with the right machine, whether it's for a rental, so you can get some work done around your property, or whether it's you looking to own one because you're a commercial operator, a tree, a tree arborist guy that needs to cut some limbs from the ground, wants to stay on the ground. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks guys. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.